How's it going, everyone? We know the struggles of uh, VR and Quest 2 and getting everything set up ready for iRacing, but I'm hoping this one little setting might change everything like it did for me. We struggled with FPS massively. We tried all the guides and everything until I came across this obscure Reddit post that made us change one setting in the uh, DX11 file and it completely changed my VR experience. First thing I'm going to do is throw out the credit where the credit is due. We came across this Reddit post and it was the post response below by Blue5. This is what completely changed it for me and this is what I'm going to show you what to do. Full credit goes to him. Um, all I want to do is just get the awareness out there because I can't believe I haven't seen it anywhere. So the change simply is, is set fully weight for sync to 1 in the render 11 dot any file in the iRacing documents folder. This has changed slightly now with iRacing creating two, uh, one for monitors and one for VR. So the name's going to be slightly different, but what we're going to do is literally jump on and I'm going to show you where to go, where to do and how to do. So what we are going to do is we are going to head over to your documents and in, all, in your documents you are going to go down and find the iRacing folder. We're going to click and open this folder. Once in the documents folder, you're going to go down and you're going to locate Renderer DX11 Oculus file. Now this is for the Quest 2. I don't know if this will work for other VR headsets. I only have the Quest 2, so I can't comment for any other headsets. But for me, this massively made a difference, so give it a go. You're going to right click and you're going to click edit on the DX11 Oculus file. Once you have opened it up, you will go down and you will find in the Oculus Rift section, fully wait for sync. Fully wait for sync, it should say equals zero. Now what you want to do is change this to equals one. I'm not going to guarantee this is going to work for everyone. I don't know the ins and outs of fully what this is going to change. All I'm going to know is that it hugely improved my VR experience and made the game highly, highly much more playable in VR for me. So. I would be really interested to hear if this is going to help others. I'm not going to keep this video going too long because it is literally as simple as that. I just honestly hope that this helps everybody and it makes an improvement to the VR experience for all of you that are involved. I really hope this helps you. Um, let me know in the comments below if it does or not. Uh, I'll be interested to see the proportion of people it improves their VR experience or if it makes no difference. Thanks guys, I appreciate it.